and it's an interesting race with a very popular favorite. It is an interesting race um, with unique Bella in there, who will certainly be one of the biggest favorites of the of the two day weekend, and and, and probably deservedly so. Um, but with only one race back after uh, you know after her six months or so off for her uh, for her injuries, uh, you know that makes this not an easy spot. Um, I think both of us, once again, are looking for horses to come off the pace in this seven furlong sprint for the Phillies and Mares. I'm going to stick with Sky Diamonds, who we talked about last week, and also another closer. I'll throw in a uh, highway star in there. But, you know, Unique Bella is not a horse that, you know, she's not going to be running out on the lead. She's also probably going to be coming off the pace. So, um you have to include her. Absolutely, Matt. Uh, unique Bella. We cannot take the big gray uh, filly lightly in here. On the other hand, what I did see in that last race, uh, while she won it nicely, there there was a bit of uh, over eagerness early. I think that would hurt her if she shows any of that against this field. This is the best older sprinting females in the country. There's a number of good ones. The seven for a long distance, I don't think hurts unique Bella, but on the other hand, if she's a bit rank with a fast pace in here with all these good fillies coming from behind, I think she does get beat. Uh, you know, I also I want to beat the heavy favorite. So that's my reason. Having said that, I still stick her number two, just, just my respect for how much talent the Jerry Hollendorfer, uh, for well-bred Jerry Hollendorfer for Philly has. I certainly could see her winning this race, but as the favorite, I'm going to try to beat her. You mentioned uh, my top pick, Highway Star. I think Highway Star is a real seven for long horse who's gotten uh, as uh, better than she's ever been. I, I think she can lay close enough where she's not too far back at Del Mar. Uh, but seven furlongs could do the trick where if she can get, uh, oh, I don't know, within three lengths as they turn for home, Highway Star could take all the money. Finley's Lucky Charm is a filly that I've always had uh, a lot of admiration for as well. She's one who might be better at six than seven, I'm, although I'm not positive of that. Uh, try at Del Mar, first try out there, and uh, uh, the tactical speed to be close to the pace. I think Finley's Lucky Charm has the talent to stick around. You know, I, I don't have Sky Diamonds in my top three. I don't have Paula Silver lining. There's a lot of potential winners here, in here, assuming Unique Bella is uh, is beatable but i think highway star has some odds and seven furlongs is is an interesting distance and uh, she's my seven furlong philly so i'm sticking with her 